you guys could see the light. I know you guys could see that. Sorry, I just didn't know where else to film. So, yeah. My iced coffee is all watered down. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I am trying so hard to just keep on track and trying to do videos um, when I have time. And today's video is going to be something different. I haven't been doing makeup tutorials and I'm so into makeup. So I thought why not do my go-to glam makeup tutorial that I've been doing recently. Um, this is it guys. If you guys want to see this makeup look and how I did it and what products I'm using, then just get a snack and let's keep on watching. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is just putting my hair back. Um, I'm using these pearls with gold um, clips. They're super cute. And then getting my caffeine because, you know, I need caffeine in me. And the first thing I'm going to be using is this hydrating milky mist from Pixie. I've been loving this thing before my makeup. I've been just spraying it for some hydration. And then getting some wipes that I have in hand. And then this Bath & Body Works exfoliating lip scrub which is minty super good and then i have this sonia kashuk brush i just bought at target recently and i've been loving it right when i'm done scrubbing all i do is just get the wipe and remove all the axes that i have in my lip still and then I get the lip balm that I've been loving, which is the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. So after I finish applying some moisture into my lips, I do go in with eyebrows now. So um, the product I've been using has been my go-to since like I started makeup is the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, it's in the shade soft brown and honestly I love this product and I really don't try brow stuff just because it really doesn't get my attention and this works for me so yeah. I'm not really going to explain how I do my eyebrows. If you guys want to see like a whole in depth how I do my eyebrow tutorial then I guess I'll do that for you guys because I am so bad at explaining honestly and I feel like I'll be sitting here forever just trying to explain how I do my eyebrows so you guys can kind of see what I do and if you guys can't then comment down below and I'll love to do a, a brow routine right when I'm done doing my eyebrows I start concealing them on the bottom so I use the NYX conceal correct and contour palette and I use the lightest shade and then apply it on the bottom just to shape my eyebrows a bit So right when I'm done concealing the eyebrows, I do get a buffing brush and making sure all those harsh lines are away and just make sure I blend everything out. <laughs> So finally I'm done with the brows, now we're going to go in with the eyes. So I am going to go in with the same concealer I've been using and I'm just going to be applying that now towards my whole lid. And then I, oh 
sorry I sneezed um and then I'm just gonna be blending all of that yes it looks lighter than my skin but I feel like if I use a lighter shade the pigments are gonna be more out there so that's the reason why I use a lighter shade for the lids <laughs> Now that my eyes are concealed, I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette. Guys, I've been loving this palette. It's super neutral. It has some bright colors in there, but I've been loving the neutral colors. So I've been going in with this light pink right here, and I've been putting it all over my lid. But before I do, I'm going to be using this um, eyeshadow brush sponge remover color thing um, I got from Shein. And I'm just going to be um, making sure my eyeshadow brushes are clean and then I'm gonna go in with that pink shade and putting it all over my lid Okay, so now that I'm done blending that pink shade away, I'm going to go in with the light brown shade, which I was pointing on on the wrong one, but it's the one that's like lower. It's like the light brown one. It's in the shade Sand Dunes number no. 7, and I'm going to be applying that the same way as I applied the pink, just a little bit lower and focusing it more on the crease as well. All right, and by the way, guys, um, about the palette, I didn't even talk about if I like it or not. Honestly, this has been one of my go-tos and my favorites. Um... It's super buttery, like the formula of the eyeshadows, and they glide into your eyelids super good. And it doesn't take a while to blend the eyeshadows. It actually just like, it's super smooth, and I just love the outcome of them. So, yeah, I recommend this palette. <laughs> Okay, so next step, I'm going to go in with a darker shade. Um, it's the Coco Loco shade, and it's a darker brown. And now, drinking some coffee real quick, and I am going to go in with that shade and applying it on the outer crease and making sure it's super smoky in the outer um, so I can do a really nice cut crease after. So now that everything is in my liking, I am going to go in with a smaller brush and then go in with the same concealer I've been using and the same light shade and then cut the crease. Alright, so finally I am done cutting the crease. I know it takes a while, but going in with this Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to go in with the second shade. As you guys can see, I love that shade. I already hit pan in it. So I'm going to use that on my lid and just applying that all over. So 
with the butter eyeshadow palette once again and getting that dark shade the coco loco putting it in the outer crease and blending those two colors together and making sure everything looks smooth and seamless now make sure you guys take y'all's time and by doing this part just so everything looks super good and super blended so done with the eyeshadow going in with these eyelashes these are from Shein, guys i am obsessed with those eyelashes they are great and they are the y7 a09 lashes super nice and i'm gonna go in with this um glue guys this glue doesn't take a long time to dry so it's super good and i got this one from miss a and then I'm going to go in with more moisturizer on my lips because honestly I put this like three or four times throughout my makeup because it kind of dries out. So um, I have to just make sure my lips are moisturized. And then I'm going to go in with this primer which honestly I've been obsessed with is the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer and it actually helps with... Um, what does it help with <laughs> it um reduces the appearance of fine lines and i honestly have those a lot so i have to make sure i apply this <laughs> So going in with mascara, I'm using the They're Real from Benefit and I do have the mini size but let me tell you guys, I did pick up the mini size just to try it out and I've been obsessed with how it looks on my lower lashes. On my top lashes, I honestly really don't care just because I do apply falsies on so it really doesn't matter but the bottoms look so good and you guys would see it in the video right now but yeah, I'm applying um, mascara right now so I can apply my lashes. So now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to take a little break, drink some coffee, and get on my phone and wait till the glue um, dries up a little bit more. And then, um, yeah, now I'm ready to apply my lashes, which guys, can't say enough with these lashes. They're so good. They're super cheap. Go to Yashin website and check them out because they're super good. So before I move on, I did want to mention this tip I always do when it comes to lashes. I make sure I stick my real lashes and my fake lashes together. This is the reason I apply mascara so they can stick together and don't look like I have two extensions in my eyes and it just looks weird out. So make sure you guys try this tip. Um, it actually works and it looks really good and it looks like you have an extension on instead of a fake lash. Okay, so moving on to face now. So the first product I'm going to be using is this e.l.f. Putty Primer. Probably you guys have heard about this, but it does miracles. I'm telling you guys, since I've been using this, my foundation looks super nice, super poreless. It looks really good. I do apply a little bit more than usual. Um, honestly, guys, I just put it all over my face and in my neck. It looks really good when I apply my foundation. I'm not lying. It just looks amazing. And it's like, what, $6? So, guys, go check it out in y'all's drugstore. It's really good. So, the foundation. 
foundation I've been loving recently is this infallible 24-hour fresh wear from L'Oreal. It's in the shade 475. And before I do apply the foundation, I make sure my hair is out of the way. So I am putting this headband I got from a while back. I think it was from Forever 21. But I usually always do this step just because my hair usually always tends to get in the way. And it's so frustrating. So, yeah. <music> Now that my hair is out of my way, I do go in with foundation. So the sponge I am using is this Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's so good, guys. I do recommend this sponge. It does come with two. Um, I do believe they only sell Sonia Kashuk in Target, but I'm not sure. Um, just make sure you guys check out Yas Target. It's really good, and I love this thing so much. By the way, this foundation, guys has so much coverage as you guys could see i recommend 10 out of 10 this foundation just see it by yourselves guys look how good this foundation just sticks into my skin and as you can see i do have a lot of blemishes and a lot of um discoloration and some pimples um here and there so y'all could see the before and after is just really good so you guys should go check it out guys I'm telling you, it's a life changing. <laughs> but yeah, I do recommend this foundation. So moving on with concealer, I am going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I am in the shade um, Light Peach. And it is a little bit lighter than my skin. And I am applying it with another sponge. This one is the e.l.f. sponge. Not sure what it's called, but I'll just put like a little photo here because honestly, I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, I'm just blending all that away and making sure I'm bringing the concealer upwards so you guys could see how I'm kind of cutting my eyeshadow a little bit. You guys can kind of see the idea of what I'm doing in my eyeshadow. Um, it looks more cleaner and more sharp and it just looks better. So that's what I'm doing with the concealer. So for powder, I've been loving the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder from Maybelline. I am in the shade 15 Light and I've been obsessed with this um, combination, this foundation and this powder together. It just looks so good and as you guys can see the difference of how mattifying it looks after, it just looks so good. So for contour, all I use is a Hoola from Benefit and I've been using this since like forever. This is like my go-to. I love this thing so much. Um, and I just put it on where I want to bronze a little bit. So I make sure I put it in my cheekbones, in my forehead, a little bit in my nose, and in my jaw. Take my advice, I'm gonna do this right. Feeling nice, what's the price? Yeah. Do not live in twice. Yeah. My fam on my spine. Yeah. Maybe getting sliced like a lime. I never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running out of steam every day, be the same. Living like this, testing all my patience Need a bit of you every time I drink Like a love Like a love mm -hmm. I depend on the way you send chills down so now that I'm done with my bronzer and blending it all in, I do go in with blush, which is the Milani 11 Blossom Time Rose. On my spine, wanna give you all my time. Give you all my time. You burn my chest, just like tequila. Wanna show you why you don't really need her. 
So at this time, I do go back with my eyes and so I can start with my lower lash. I do go in with these two shades right here. I always go in with a lighter shade and a darker shade. So I could put the lighter shade all over the bottom lash and then I put the darker shade in the outer um, just so it can look a little bit more like I don't know put together I guess um, but yeah it looks really good and then that's when I go in with my mascara and my eyeliner Okay, so now moving on to lips, um, I do make sure I take off everything that is not supposed to be in my lips. I do get a wipey and make sure I take off all the foundation powder that got into my lips. And then I make sure I moisturize my lips once again. Yes, moisturize your lips before anything because that's a process and they're supposed to be juicy and moisturized throughout all of this. Okay, so jumping from lips to brows now, I am going in with this Great Lash Mascara. This is a clear mascara, which I love applying into my eyebrows so they can stay in place. Okay, so for highlighter, this is one of my favorite parts just because I love applying highlighter. It just does such a big difference. Um, but I am using the ColourPop um, Flexitarian Super Shook Cheek. And honestly, this is so affordable and it's so good. As you guys can see, it does a job, guys. Like if you guys want to pop highlighter, get this. But if you guys want something neutral, you can also use this. Just make sure you guys put a tiny bit and blend it out and it will just give you an effortless highlight but honestly I go full out I just love a bold highlight so as you guys can see and that's what I'm doing so now that I'm done applying the highlighter I do go in with a bigger brush and make sure I blend everything out so it won't look as harsh and then I do go in with a smaller, smaller brush and then apply it on my inner corners. So going back with my blush, yes, I love my blush, so I put a little bit more. Um, I do kind of focus it more on my nose as well because I just love a blushy nose. And then I go in with... Oh, okay, so I do go in with my NYX eyeliner, which I honestly don't really like this as much. I honestly don't have a favorite, but I've been using this one recently. It's the NYX eye pencil. It's just in the shade black, so you guys could use any. If you guys have any recommendations for a black eyeliner, let me know because I haven't found a favorite of mine, but I'm just using this one and putting it on my waterline. So now to finish off the look, I do go in with the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This is an oil control one, guys, and honestly, this is my favorite, favorite, top 10 recommend. I love this thing so much. It does the job. It doesn't make your face oily. It doesn't um, smear your makeup. It does. It's just so good. Yes, it was a little bit pricey, but I do recommend this product so much. <music> All right, guys, so this is the last step I do for my makeup, which is my lips. So the two combos I've been loving um, to apply into my lips is the NYX Sued Matte Lipsticks. The first um, shade I put, it's the Free Spirit one, which is a darker shade. And it's a bit of a nude. Um, it's just a little bit dark. And then I go in with um, Dainty Days in the center just so it can line it, lighten it up. And it looks way better and it just looks a little bit plumpier. So that's what I've been doing for my lips recently with any type of like eyeshadow look. I feel like this combo just looks so good. And yeah, that's it for the makeup look. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine.
no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this glam makeup tutorial that I've been doing recently. And if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, then make sure you guys thumbs this video up. And comment down below any suggestions you guys have. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.